it was raining defense orders today and most of the retail was totally undecided which stocks to buy we'll talk about the orders and which companies are likely to get positively impacted in the nugget section today hi everyone welcome to the update of 3rd september if you have not caught up with the news just to summarize cabinet has approved a 26000 crore deal to procure 250 engines for sukhoi 30 mki aircraft for hl this was yesterday night and today 10 proposals worth 1.45 lakh crore worth of rupees have been cleared by the defense ministry look at select stocks today hl closed yesterday here below 4700 this is where it opened today remained high whole day bl closed here opened here mazgaon dog was here yesterday remained up bharat dynamics cochin shipyard same grsc now most of the defense stocks are not in nifty so they are not in the top but the GST council meeting is coming up now. Insurance companies are at the top, SBI life, HDFC life, because GST may get reduced or waived off. 18% is the number in context. Today was the day of financials, ICICI Bank, Shriram Finance, Bajaj Finserv, HDFC Bank. Market bet, however, was not that good. More stocks were in red today. Now, today is a rare day when four out of the top five sectors were actually the bottom four. Only banking was in green, that too picked after 2 o'clock. But strangely, whole day markets were neither very high nor very low. The middle tier literally meant nothing today. Auto corrected today, only m and was up a little. Now, Madarsan Sumi, there is some talk of a QIP, about a billion dollar worth of QIP, that too. So, this stock may go up soon. Defense was on fire. Biggest gains were in Mazgaon Dock, which is the most volatile stock. Nifty was calm for most of the day. The spikes also were not that big, hardly 40 points. Bank Nifty was actually doing nothing for most day. Just like yesterday, post lunch, it shot up like anything. See Nifty, 25, 250, 25, 280. Literally 30 point range for Nifty. This was till about 1 o'clock. Then it went up a bit, came down, up, down. Still for the day, it was hardly a 50, 60 point kind of range. See Bank Nifty. Hardly 100, 120 point range here. But this spike was good. Nearly 300 points. Now the SEBI controversy is getting murkier. I talked about it yesterday that the clarifications given by ICICI Bank don't sound at all convincing. Today this issue was raked up again by the opposition parties. And honestly, this is not looking good at all. Neither for ICICI Bank, nor for SEBI, nor for the chairperson. And not at all for India in terms of the credibility of the institutions that top institution's integrity is in question. Now, zero is considered positive number. Anything below zero is negative. So that trend continues. Bank Nifty is having a good run four days consecutive up. IT broke the trend of four days and it corrected. FIIs and DIIs, both net buyers, nearly 3,000 crores. Energy corrected a lot, led by Reliance, which was down half a percent. Next 50 was up a bit. The index was held together by HDFC Bank and ICIC Bank and we'll discuss a bit more in the bank graphs. Not big cuts, but TCS was down for second consecutive day. Infosys also fell 1.2%. Now Berkshire is trading comfortably above $1 trillion market cap. So today I have removed JPMC and added Berkshire here. The value of one stock class A share is 7,15,300. Yesterday US markets were closed, so all values are zero and they are yet to open today. Today, 29 stocks were down in Nifty, 21 were up. ICIC and HDFC Bank were the top gainers, followed by SBI Life, Bajaj, Finsurf, Titan. Yesterday, we saw ICIC Bank and HDFC Bank in the fear zone. They are out just after today's minor gains. Reliance, I said yesterday also, it is playing a seesaw one day up, one day down. It was down today, followed by Infosys, Bharti Airtel, Bajaj Finance. The mid caps were slightly better today, 23 down, 27 up. The best performer was HAL followed by SBI Cards, Bajaj Holdings, Power Finance, REC, Geo Financial. Legards were Adani Green, Jindal Steel, Mariko, Adani Power, Info H, Trent. This green star in ITC means a 52 week high. Reliance was down whole day, TCS went up, then came down. HDFC Bank shot up towards the end. ICIC Bank, same graph went up. ATL was coming down whole day, Infosys down. Nifty was being balanced very well and overall it did not go anywhere. The super trend continues. Now while ICICI, SBI and HDFC went up, it was not same for all banks. Bank of Proda corrected, PNB corrected, Indusind 
also corrected towards the later part of the day. In NBFCs, Bajaj Finance came down, then went up. PFC came down, then went up. IRFC came down, then went up. There are some changes to the RSI levels also. These are all beta versions. I am using 35 and 65 as a custom zone for RSI 14. HDFC is comfortably in the RSI zone. ICICI is getting into the overbought zone, however. If you look at bank nifty itself, then that is in the zone, but moving towards overbought territory. Let's quickly check some of the defense stocks. HAL comfortably in the range. BL also. Musgaon Dock is towards oversold territory. Cochin Shipyard is actually oversold. GRSC is just recovering from oversold territory. Now we have metals as well. Let's check Hindustan Zinc. Oversold. Tata Steel is in the zone. JSW Steel is in the zone. Vedanta getting towards overbought. Software, no major cracks. However, the sector was down today. The power pack was in a bad shape today. Nearly all stocks were down. Now, Dani Green has signed up nearly billion dollar worth of JVs with international companies. Still, it was down 2.5%. Today, oil companies are also down. I have mentioned this reason earlier also when oil prices go down significantly some of these players actually come under margin pressure because most of them work on a percentage number and on a low price the percentage gets a lesser absolute amount food and tobacco did not go anywhere the consumption pack also actually did not go anywhere Bajaj consumer is just dancing without any reason I don't think Bajaj consumer has any skin in the game for the upcoming Bajaj IPO banking pack only Bajaj Finance was down today. The sector was a 0.6%. Beverages including most alcohol stocks were down today. Minor gains in Asian Paints and Pedalite. Cement up. Trend corrected. Insurance pack was on fire today. Investment banking, the top 4 players were up today. BSE continued the correction. ABB up Siemens down in heavy machinery. Real estate down. Kalyan Jewelers continued the upward journey 1.7% up. So did Titan. I mentioned the news on Adani Green. I bought a bit of it for trading reason. I also bought Musgaon Dock, HAL, Cochin Shipyard. I'll talk more about it on the future of this decisioning in the Nugget section. Nothing sold today. Yesterday, the video got very late and in that I had mentioned that I was expecting investments in defense sector to be announced very soon. Just after the video, there was an announcement that cabinet has approved 26,000 crore deal to procure 250 engines of Sukhoi 30 MKI aircraft. Also, there was news that Defense Acquisition Council will meet today to finalize orders. And we were talking mostly about frigates. Frigates are special vehicles which have three masts and a single large gun typically. So I expected Musgaon Dog, GRSC, maybe Cochin Shipyard and BL, which is into everything when it comes to defense. These could go up. Similar order was passed 5-7 years back also. They are a lot of such aircrafts, about 1000 of them which need an engine replacement and government is upgrading them in chunks. This news came after the closing of market hours. 10 proposals worth 1.45 lakh crore. No approvals for Frigate which was anticipated. Now let me take you through some content which is very important to understand if you are an investor into defense stocks. One thing to note in the defense order passed today is that 19 is expected from indigenous sources under by Indian and by Indian indigenously designed, developed and manufactured categories. So the capex will be spent mostly on Indian businesses. This is good for the economy. Now the Sukhoi 30 MKI aircrafts, there is a collaboration between Russia and HL. The MKI have been in the fleet for nearly 25 years now. Now there is a lot of information in this wiki page. For example, the Astra, not Astra, Astra MK1. This missile is designed by DRDO. The manufacturer is BDL or Bharat Dynamics Limited. So if you look at Sudarshan, the laser guided bomb, the designer is again DRDO, but manufacturer is BEL. There is a program running called Super Sukhoi to upgrade IAF's Sukhoi 30 MKI fleet. Look here, a total of 950 engines are required. 240 have been approved today. The delivery for these engines will continue from one year of signing, eight years to deliver. This is the problem I have with defense stocks. I don't expect any EPS to increase besides the advances that government may give to HL one time. To my knowledge, none of the Tejas aircrafts, 80 of them ordered by the government have been delivered till now, not even a single one by HL. Now coming to shipping, Cochin Shipyard is mostly into shipbuilding, marine engineering, ship repair facilities in shipbuilding also it is about tankers product carriers bulk carriers passenger vehicles 
high bollard pull tugs and air defense ships grsc if you look they are into frigates which i was talking about earlier missile corvettes anti submarine fleet replenishment landing ship tank so most of the products that grsc is offering seem to be missing with cochin shipyard fast interceptor boat this is what the order is about if you go to mazgaon dock naval ships submarines combat ships naval auxiliary vehicles tugs barges dredgers supply of support vehicles ferries the products of grsc and mazgaon dock are kind of similar but cochin shipyard seems to be a very dated company i was analyzing the data of frigates for the decision that i had to take today the frigates which are currently in commission today in india there is a shivalik class all ships have been built by mazgaon dock they were commissioned in 2010 11 and 12 so it's been 12 13 years since the last frigate was inducted in the indian navy the next is the talwar class inducted in 2003 and 4 these are russian the third category is brahmaputra class all three of them were built by grsc the year is 2000 2004 2005 so the most recent ones were done by mazgaon dock the oldest one were done by grsc the middle one were russians nothing from cochin shipyard in frigates i went to shivalik which is the latest one here also if you see bl is supplying the electronics and sensors now if you see the ship carries two hl dhruv or seeking mk helicopters so if this ship is manufactured then there will be demand for hl helicopters also now these examples are to tell you that by studying this information we can figure out which companies are likely to get the orders so what seems likely is mazgaon dock bl hl bdl grsc these companies are likely to get benefited a lot from these orders but besides the one time advance which they will get from the orders the delivery will take time grsc also is slightly dated most of the new stuff seems to be happening around mazgaon dock and that company was up most i bought a little in mazgaon dock today did not buy anything grsc because grsc i have always found very expensive i have to take a call on bl cochin shipyard i'll probably have to dump out looking at more details of the stock today doesn't seem like a modern company at all to me hope this information was useful also treated only for educational purpose take your own decisions thanks for watching and i'll see you tomorrow